Hello all. Welcome to Tech Horizon Hub. Organizations face challenges merging virtual machine workloads with container infrastructure. OpenShift virtualization solves this by harmoniously running virtual machines with containers, boosting agility and efficiency. In this first video of the series, we explore how IBM Storage Fusion can simplify and streamline your IT operations by effortlessly integrating both virtual machines and containers as first-class citizens on a unified platform. Let us start with installing OpenShift Virtualization Operator. Let us start with logging into IBM Storage Fusion. This is IBM Storage Fusion HCI system infrastructure provider for OpenShift. We have OpenShift version 4.14.10 installed on this system. Now we are going into Operator Hub to install OpenShift Virtualization Operator. Search for OpenShift Virtualization Operator. We will install latest available version. Click on Install. Keeping all values as default for this demo and click on install. Wait for the operator to be installed successfully and then click on create hyper converged instance. For this demo we are not tuning any of the parameters seen here. We will discuss on each of these tuning parameters in upcoming videos in the series. We are creating hyperconverged instance with empty spec. Wait for the instance to be available and running before proceeding ahead. Now our hyperconverged instance is healthy and running. We would see an additional menu on the left, OpenShift Virtualization. Now we are ready to create our first virtual machine. We can do so using any of the three ways from template or from volume or from YAML. In this demo we are creating from template. We are choosing Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 for our virtual machine from the catalog. We can create using either quick or customize options. We will choose quick way of creating virtual machine. Giving some meaningful name for the virtual machine. Click on quick create virtual machine. Not the virtual machine creation in progress. Wait for it to come up and running. Once the virtual machine is up and running we can access it via console. We have two types consoles. VNC console and serial console. We would use serial console. Now we are logging into our demo virtual machine created using the guest login credentials. After logging in we are just doing some basic sanity tests, like checking the operating system version. We have several configuration options for disks, network interfaces, scheduling, environment and scripts available. Also have the capability to diagnose for any problems. We will go through all these options in detail in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more content like this.